lot of women around the country are talking about a stunning announcement from Angelina Jolie. The Hollywood sex symbol saying she had a preventative double mastectomy after learning she carried a gene that makes it extremely likely she'll get breast cancer. Breast surgeons around the country and here in Las Vegas say Jolie opening up will help other women. Action News reporter Denise Wong shows us how. I kept thinking about my grandmother and my aunt and I realized I didn't want to go through what they went through. 30-year-old Seiko Ray has a family history of breast cancer. So six months ago, when her OBGYN told her to get tested to see if she had that faulty gene that would put her at risk, she did. I found out that I had the BRCA1 mutation. Doctors say that gave her an 87% chance of getting breast cancer one day. For this young wife, that was devastating. I always dream about... Um, you know, retiring with my husband and spend trouble and things like that. And wait, I don't have that, you know. To lower her risk to 5%, she made the difficult choice to have a double mastectomy. And they need to meet with a specialist. Dr. Suzanne Ali says taking such a drastic preventive measure is not that rare these days. It's pretty common, and actually over the last few years, I think it was uh, with the uh, um, emerging trends of people getting tested for the gene and knowing the risk that patients come in asking for the double mastectomy. Dr. L. Eid says she's seen more and more younger women come in to ask for more information about surgery. Like Seiko, who's now undergoing reconstructive surgery and has peace of mind that she and her husband can plan for their future together. No regrets. No. Yeah, no regrets. <laughs> Both she and her doctor say they hope Angelina Jolie's announcement that she had the surgery will empower others. Angelina Jolie is uh, basically the sex symbol, uh, the seduction symbol. So if she's coming up and speaking about it, then uh, she is a pioneer for the other women. Denise Wong, Channel 13 Action News. Well, getting tested for that faulty gene isn't cheap. It can cost around $4,000 and is covered by some insurance policies. Dr. Alid says that the surgery can cost around $8,500, and that does not include the hospital stay, anesthesia, and reconstructive surgery.